Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. Let's begin with today's challenge. Today's topic is also gratitude. But the situation that I am going to discuss this gratitude is going to be slightly different from earlier. Now, before I actually discuss with um, all of you about uh, gratitude in the particular context that I have in mind, I have a question to all of you. Now, most of us know cycling. No? So, you become good in cycling when the road is completely smooth and straight or you become good in cycling when the road has lots of ups and downs left and right turns when do you think you actually become good in cycling when the road is straight and smooth or when the road has lots of turns with ups and downs pause the video and comment now When do you think you become more emotionally stronger? When the life is really smooth without any problems like bed of roses? Or you become emotionally stronger, mentally stronger when you face a lot of challenges but you make sure you overcome all those challenges? When do you become more stronger? I'm sure most of your answer is you become good in cycling only when the road is not so smooth with lots of ups and downs and turns. And you become more mentally, emotionally stronger only when you face challenges in your life and you make sure you overcome those challenges. Now, one more question I have. I'm sure all of you have either played chess or you have seen people playing chess. Now, when they move those coins, that's how I call it. I don't know if it has a different name. When they move those coins, do you think they make... Do you think they make only forward movements or sometimes they take backward movements too? Have you observed? Those who have played or observed will know the answer for this question already. And for those who do not know the answer, let me tell you, players make backward movement too to win the game. It's not always forward movement. You have seen um, shooting games, right? You know how people pull the trigger? The trigger is pulled back so that the bullet can move forward. Same way with bow and arrow. When you want to send the arrow forward, you actually pull it back. The whole lot of strength is gained when the arrow is pulled back. So what all these means to me is, 
we gain strength when we face challenges in life challenges don't appear to put us down rather challenges appear in life to make you more stronger i have heard people saying i think god has closed his eyes i'm facing lot of challenges god is not no 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 that's wrong whether you pray god or you don't pray god god is always watching you and god wants to help you that is exactly why he gave you challenges now coming to the point feeling gratitude when we lose something what feeling gratitude when you lose someone or something how is that even possible you know there are many friends of mine who lost their jobs during pandemic the moment they understood that they lost their jobs they felt so terrible so they called me up and said um radha i have lost my job this is my profession has come to an end i said no 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 your profession hasn't come to an end this particular job which you had earlier maybe has come to an end but as a whole you don't say that your profession has come to an end no and then to few of them i did counseling to one of them has went on to become not two of them actually have become entrepreneurs how both are women one started cloud kitchen from being in home she is an amazing cook so she wanted to try her handed cooking cooking is something that she loves doing and i used to ask her oh please tell me how to love cooking i do love cooking but she has love at a different level for cooking and she doesn't have any professional degree or any professional training in cooking but she cooks much better than most of the professional chefs so as we were talking i told her why don't you start something which feeds your interest in cooking she started cloud kitchen and trust me once um, after a couple of years she received a lot of offers from corporate sector but she was not willing to accept any of those offers the reason being her home based 
cloud kitchen picked up so well that she started earning more in many folds maybe multiple times then what she was earning when she was working for corporate giant and she said radha now actually i am working more number of hours every day and in fact since this is cloud kitchen actually there is no holiday for me too in spite of these two facts i don't feel tired i don't feel irritated i don't feel stressed the only reason is i am doing what i really love doing so looks like the job loss is actually a blessing he said yes and there was another person who started home baking as a business she not only sold different types of cookies cakes and she also made chocolates homemade chocolates and her business also picked up so well she not only made and sold cakes she also helped lot of women to become independent financially independent by teaching them home baking so she is not only a baker but she is also a coach so for these two people these are the only two examples that i'm sharing i know lot of other examples too so sometimes not sometimes most of the times if you consciously decide to look for good in whatever that happens you would be able to find lot of points to feel gratitude now the two ladies that i was talking about they are so financially independent they have expanded their business they have people to help them they have time freedom they have money freedom and though their work is more physically taxing time wise it is more taxing but they enjoy doing whatever they are doing right now so the point that i am trying to make is even if there is a job loss you need to feel the gratitude so that you can attract right things into your life So the first thing that I would suggest people to do is not to feel heavy about what you have lost but feel light about what you think you can do to start over again to say it is easy to follow it is difficult which I totally understand and agree but if you understand that the only way to succeed even after the job loss is to feel the gratitude genuinely as far as my knowledge is concerned i don't have any other option i don't know any other option the only option to get out of your negativity and to be successful all over again feel gratitude even when there is a job loss
most of them say i feel heavy um because i was already very successful now i am back to zero i would say replace the heaviness with something light that you are going to start all over again and be a role model to lot of other people who are going through the situation like yours imagine your job loss could be a start of a completely different story more motivational more inspirational maybe imagine that way it will become slightly easier to feel gratitude then read lot of autobiography books autobiography that is when you will understand how people suffer loss and how did they use gratitude to get out of the difficulties created by that loss and how they used gratitude to become successful all over again Now, all I want all of you to do is remind yourself that gratitude can be found wherever you are at this moment. Maybe initially you may find it little difficult to understand this concept of being grateful for job loss. Once you sincerely do it and see great results. you will be inspired to follow it throughout your life now those two women that i'm talking about those two women that i'm talking about are sincerely grateful for their job loss now now if someone asks them which one is more rewarding your corporate career or your own business without thinking for a second they will say my business they are grateful for the corporate career they have had they learned a lot of things it's not that they are ungrateful to the career they have had they are grateful for the career they had they are grateful for the job loss and they are grateful that they could start all over and they become successful too so the point here is whether you lose something or someone whatever it is if you look for point of gratitude you will always find it but you need to consciously look for it that's important it doesn't appear on its own you have to look for it the first thing that happens when you look for gratitude is you will mentally calm down and the positive side effect your mind starts functioning better towards something positive progressive and hence you are going to succeed in your life mandala for this challenge is done now go ahead recreate it share it with me